Here we are looking at a sample quantitative problem solving question from the executive assessment sample problems over at eaofficialprep.gmac.com. And whenever you are presented with a problem solving question, your first step is going to be to set up the scratch pad. So we're going to list out our answer choices A through E. We're going to put a little line over top for what we're being asked to solve for. Then we're actually going to write out simple numbers for our answer choices if they're presented, just in case we aren't able to work through the technical approach, there might be an opportunity for either back solving or logical estimation if needed. So we're then going to skip to the end of the problem and read what the question is, irrespective of the background. And in this case, it reads, how many of the town's registered voters voted in the mayoral election? So we're looking for the number of RVs for registered voters. I'm going to know what that means for the next five or mi fewer minutes that this is going to really be relevant, probably closer to two. So the number of RVs that voted for mayor. So now we're just going to read from the top and we're going to take notes as we go. So in a certain town of 4,000 residents, so we're going to say 4,000 is equal to the residents. Thanks for watching this executive assessment explanation video. If you're enjoying the tips it contains, please consider liking it and potentially subscribing to this channel to be alerted when additional videos such as this are released by my guru. Also, check out the description below as it includes a link to our full executive assessment prep course produced with our partners at Analyst Prep. For now, let's get back to this video. 40% of the residents are registered voters. Okay, well, I'm going to just do this math right now because I know I'm trying to get to the number of registered voters who voted for mayor and I don't want to leave anything in percentages. And to take a percent manually, the best way to do it is going to be to take 10% or 1% by shifting your decimal left one or two places mentally and then multiplying up. So if I want 40% of 4,000, what we do is we take 10% is going to be equal to 400. And then we just multiply that 10% by 4 to find that 40% is going to be equal to 1,600. So we know that 1,600 now is the number of registered voters. And as soon as I see that, I can eliminate a couple answer choices. Eliminate E, and because we can see we're already going to another percentage, it's not going to be all of them, so we can eliminate choice D as well. Then we're being told that 25% of the registered voters voted in the mayor election. So we're taking 25% of that 1,600. And we'll do the exact same thing we just did. But first off, I know that 25% is less than half, so that allows us to eliminate 1,000 because 1,000 is more than half of 1,600. And we know that 25% is also just one-fourth of 1,600. And being able to switch non-integer formats is a really valuable skill. So you're want, going to want to be able to do your manual math for non-integers in equal capacity for both, or well, for each of th the three non-integer formats of decimals, fractions, and percentages. So knowing that 25% is just dividing by, a, uh, by four or multiplying by a quarter allows me to see that my correct answer is going to have to be 400. And even with a relatively, we'll say, remedial question such as this, you can see the levels of different ways that you can expedite your approach and be more accurate. Your main goal for any quantitative section of the executive assessment is actually to minimize mistakes and maximize efficiency. Don't even worry about the hardest questions of the section. You will be able to get into the harder second section uh, or second half of this uh, section of the exam by getting just five questions right. So if there are one or two that are harder, allow them to just kind of sit there understanding that you can get the correct answer here of A relatively directly and by just being more careful, you're really going to improve your score, not just on the quantitative section, but all of them.